To announce my resignation from the DA. I will today step down as leader of the DA. It was probably my time to go. Well, there's been a mass exodus of senior leaders from the DA in the recent past. First up to leave the party was Jonathan Mokes. He was uh, in charge of the party's election campaign. Then Paul Bowie left. He's the CEO of the party, followed in short order by Herman Mashawa, who was the DA's mayor in Johannesburg. And then dramatically on Wednesday, Musi Maimane resigned as leader of the party, followed by Ethel Trollope, the federal chairperson. And then on Thursday, Maimane resigned from the party in totality. He's now left the party and he's also resigned his leadership of the party in parliament. Man oh man is Helen Ziller back. Helen Ziller is back and she's badder than she, she was before. There is something about the relationship between Musi Maimane and Helen Ziller. It's not just the imagination of Twitter. There is something that concerns people that maybe possibly concerns their supporters. You obviously a much better psychologist than I am. <laughs> explain yeah, to me. <laughs> explain to me that body language. I thought it was very warm. You think you and Musi were very warm towards well, him? I was very warm towards him. <laughs> She was elected uh, chairperson of the party's federal council on Sunday. She presided over the meeting on Wednesday when Musa Maimane tendered his resignation. Uh, she's the most senior leader left in the party. And boy, oh boy, uh, is there a big task ahead of her. It's uncertain at this stage who is going to follow suit. But of course, politicians being who they are, they're very reliant on the paycheck at the end of the month. I'd be very surprised if there are any more major and big resignations. The EFF and the ANC are absolutely loving this. Um, what they're seeing is a party at war with itself over race, a black leader's left, uh, a party that can't decide on, on its future. So for, as, as far as the EFF are concerned, you know, they would be looking to take advantage of this internal DA malaise in Johannesburg and in Twane. And for the ANC, a party who has been in the dock at the State Capture Commission for more than a year, it's welcome respite for them. They're enjoying looking at the DA itself immolating. Husi Maimani will be remembered for uh, his attempts at creating a more pragmatic form of DA liberalism, a party um, that is more amenable and open uh, to consider race as central to South Africa's political problem. But as far as political theatre is concerned, his famous broken man speech in 2015 when he attacked a very vulnerable and corrupted president Jacob Zuma would most certainly be remembered uh, as his highlight uh, of his political and parliamentary career. Honorable President, in these very chambers, just five days ago, you broke parliament. Please understand, Honorable President, when I use the term honorable, I do it out of respect for the traditions and conventions of this august house. But please don't take it literally. For you, Honorable President, are not an honorable man. You're a broken man presiding of a broken society. For the DA to survive this game, they are going to have to make very uh, difficult decisions going forward. They're going to have to elect a very strong leader. If they're going to survive um, uh, the events of the last couple of days, the drama of forcing out a leader, they're going to have to make sure that they're very uh, principled, that they communicate those principles very clearly to, to South Africans, to potential voters. They're going to have to stem the bleeding because they're hemorrhaging support. Can they survive it? It's possible, but it's going to take a Herculean effort.